what is going on you guys welcome back to the channel back on the beautiful v4r for like the millionth time i know i know you guys want to see the other bikes i see the h2 comments i see the r1m comments i mean i'm not gonna lie it's just this is a new bike and i'm getting a lot of parts for it so every time i put a new part i'm like oh you know i want to ride the bike it's something a little new a little different you know i've had both my other bikes for about two years uh over two years for the h2 or no two years for the h2 and a little under two years for the r1m but yeah, i've had them for a while i rode them a lot you know i want to put on some miles on the v4 especially because i pretty much got blue balled after crashing my last v4 so this whole time i'm just excited to ride a ducati and now that i have one i'm just riding it as much as i can and also again we're going back to the shop see saw a lot of cops today going back to the shop got my backpack with me i got more carbon fiber pieces they're like engine covers uh it's gonna be a pain in the ass to install because we're supposed to like lift the tank and stuff like that because it's all mounted to the subframe so not really looking forward for it but the carbon pieces I have are from the same company that made my tail so they are custom and I'm excited to put those engine covers on there isn't much to like all the parts just one of the parts has a nice red design you know red accents to match the rest of the bike and as soon as I pull over right now I'm gonna show you that I did a little new design too on the bike that you guys well you probably saw in the intro when I started the bike here we are again I still struggle to find the kickstand thing. So uh, we finally, we have this piece that I've had forever that I'm gonna put on. And then we just got this piece and the Desmostici Stradale is gonna be in red, all looking nice, glossy carbon. This is matte carbon to match this. I put this new sticker on here, just, I don't know. It's like a little, little, little details, you know? So this actually mounts to the subframe, so we're gonna have to lift the tank and also the bolts for this are on the inside, so everything's gonna be from down there. So that's why this is gonna be annoying. And so we have those two pieces, obviously the same one on this side. So I didn't wanna do the full carbon subframe because I want it to be different. I feel like the full carbon subframe is just too plain. I like the grooves and the design right here. And I also really like the design of this tailpiece right here, that's why. I decided to go with all these different parts. At the end of the day, literally came up to about the same price because this tailpiece alone is seven hundred dollars minus this, and then we have this, and I'm gonna buy the under tray too. So, you know, the parts are slowly adding up. It's not quite as expensive, but it's pretty much the same. I just I know it's lighter and all that stuff, but I really like this design, and I want to be a little different, you know. So, we got that piece, and we got this piece as well. So that's gonna be exciting. We'll see how it's gonna look. And hopefully it's not gonna be too hard of a job. Oh, I also added this little red right here on the wing. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. I am not 100% about it. Just because I feel like it's too much red with this. Unless this was carbon then that would look good. But right now it's kind of like red, carbon red, but it's a little too much red. I don't know, but this, this is my new, like super nice favorite piece. Look how aggressive that is. Ignore ignore the little stuff right here. I, I don't rap, okay? I'm, I'm horrible at this. I tried my best. But I think this makes the bike way more mean. Very aggressive. Excited with how it's coming out. But yeah, I still need like a ton of parts for this bike. that matches this we have the glossy engine cover you guys can see how it says Desmos Dici Stradale 
in the red, glossy carbon. That piece was a pain in the butt. We actually had to lift the entire subframe and the tank just to get there. So it wasn't an easy job. It took us a good, like a little over an hour. Got the pieces right here. And now we are ready to go. Oh boy, I'm glad this is over with. It was really stressful putting all these pieces on. Hmm. This is the first time I see it doing the little idle thing. Ever since the tune was fixed. That is unfortunate. Jeez. I'm assuming this car ran into the Porsche. This bike runs so good when it's high in the RPMs. Find candy skies. I should keep my eyes on the road, there's too many cars. Right. I feel like right when I get on the throttle, it has a little like flat spot. Oh my god, another one? Jeez. Sure does look like I can't see anything though, but even our side is packed for whatever reason. Excuse me, coming through, let me through. <laughs> I'm not try trying to get stuck in all this traffic. Wow, I went into neutral somehow well I'm glad we're not on that side I thought there was traffic on this side too but I guess not I can't see it anymore this guy looks so good <laughs> damn I want to go somewhere and get some content some reels you know you guys should follow me on Instagram it's the same name as my YouTube channel. The summer is pretty damn loud on the freeway, I'm not gonna lie. I thought it would be a little bit better than the AGV, but I can barely hear the music. I mean, I can hear it, but it's, it's not the best. I have to like blast it. Whoa, look at the sky. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's, it was a lot of, a lot of anxiety. I'm gonna post a little clip that I took on Instagram. I forgot, I was so like stressed out that I didn't even like film the process. But as I said, it was a lot. We had to lift the tank, the whole soft frame, all that to get to them. We had to do some little adjustments for one of the carbon pieces. Some complications happened, but managed to, you know, get it done. And uh, yeah, I'll post a little clip that I took for Instagram just to show you guys the state of the bike 
when these engine covers were getting put on but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please like subscribe and support and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace out and ride safe